this is this is the year they haven't won the ACC regular season title since 2010. They haven't won the outright ACC regular season title since 2006. If they cannot get it this year, right? They won at Boston College today. If they cannot get it this year in this ACC, will Duke ever win an ACC regular season title ever again? <laughs> it's an unbelievable run. I think they're going to get it this year, and I'll tell you why. I think their defense has just been, with the exception of the Virginia game, which was, you know what? I think I jokingly said that the Duke looked like a team that that partied after winning in Chapel Hill until three in the morning, two days before, uh, you know, they, they didn't guard anybody against Virginia, but you know, in the lead up to that Virginia game, the way they guarded North Carolina, I was at the Notre Dame game uh, on the last day of January. They guarded the heck out of a very di- difficult to guard Notre Dame offense. That's very skilled that shoots the ball at every position. Like they have taken their defense to, to a different level. And I think, they figured out that when they guard that way, no one's really beating them. And, and I think coming down the stretch, yeah, they have some some tricky ones, right? They have to go to Virginia. That's never an easy game. They get the you know final game of the season against Carolina. You know they're going to get Carolina's best shot, especially if Carolina's right on the bubble and needs one. Look, they go to the Dome. I mean, they might score 150 points against Syracuse, but Syracuse might try to put up 140 with, with the way they shoot the ball. So, yeah, maybe there's some some roadblocks here, but – I think they have a great chance to win out. And if they do, I think they're going to win the league because I don't see Notre Dame winning it. Yeah. Prom, what do you make of this Duke team? What's their ceiling? What do they have to do to win that conference? I tell you what, the one, when you look at both those and obviously Miami and, and uh, North Carolina are just a game back, but I like Notre Dame's schedule down the stretch. You know, I think at Wake Forest, at Florida State are the two scary ones. Their home games are games they should win. If they can win at Wake Forest and take that momentum down to Florida State, it puts pressure for Duke to go to Virginia and win. I think that's the big big one for Duke. Can they go to Virginia and win? Uh, I just think talent-wise, after Virginia beat them, Duke, if they're dialed in, like Kevin just said, you know, I, I don't see it. I think Duke goes and, and wins these last six. But um, I just think Mike I, I Gray, don't, he's, I don't know he's if they get it done at Virginia. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know if they can. It feels like Virginia's kind of figured this thing out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, right. Mike they've Bray, won, you, they've won. Yeah. Go ahead. Go I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say Virginia's won four in a row and five of the last six. Um, we've been talking, T.O. made a great point um, on, I think it was last Monday, that we've been talking about how Virginia is a year away. Well, now is basically when the guys that are a year away kind of figure things out, right? Yeah. So it just, it feels like they're, they're kind of there. Now, uh, they are at Virginia Tech and at Miami, then they get Duke at home. So if Virginia's going to find a way to get to the tournament, it's going to be these next three games. Yeah, I, I like, you know, Notre Dame, just listening to Mike Bray after the Clemson game, I think they have a swagger about them. Like, hey, we got a chance, man. Everybody wrote us off before the season, and we got a legit chance. We got home games with Boston College, Georgia Tech, Pitt, and Syracuse. And if we get a split at Wake Forest and at, at Florida State, we'll probably at least split for the ACC championship. Yeah. They got to they gotta win one of those at Wake Forest and at Florida State, who uh, it kind of feels like Florida State has, um, I don't know, it, it feels it feels like they're dead. That's just kind of, I think that's where we're at right now with Florida State. But listen, this has been the Field of 68 After Dark. Uh, if you're still around, make sure you go jump on YouTube, find the stream, the Field of 68 After Dark Afters. We're going to be answering your questions. We're going to be jumping in the chat. Uh, it's fun. We're going to keep it going. We got to watch the end of this UCLA Gonzaga game. So for Steve Prohm, For Kevin Sweeney, my name is Rob Doster. Thanks for being here on your Saturday night.